allow me to introduce you to three passionate, obsessed artists. Each haunted by their own creations. Three unique, passionate, and obsessed artists. Meet Egon. When he was a little boy, his father destroyed his sketchbooks, but not his passion. He was prolific and perverse. His illustrations were described as grotesque, erotic, pornographic, disturbing. He focused on sex, death, discovery, and decay. His art was banned and burned. He was sent to jail. He fell in love. Egon was tormented by a beautiful muse, a woman with flaming red hair and eyes the color of sage. Throughout his days, she never left his mind. She was everywhere he looked. She was everywhere. On the Halloween of his 28th year, in a fever dream, Egon died. But it was only the beginning. Meet Leonore. When she was a child, her mother made her dress as a boy, in fear that Leonore's estranged father would kidnap her. Later, as a young woman, the rebellious Bohemian was thrown out of every school she attended. She read the entire works of Freud before she was 16. Leonore was magnificent, mocking, enigmatic, terrible, and gorgeous. A painter, designer, feminist, anarchist, mystic, voluptary, and seeker, Leonore was always looking for something. From note to note, she hunted like a scavenger, knowing all too well where the clues would lead. Meet Louis. Raised by his mother, doted on by his sisters. As a boy, he would often truant from his studies and spent his childhood wandering the streets, befriending and bringing home stray cats. He painted kittens to the point of distraction. At first, they were cute, comical even. But in the end, they developed into portraits of despair and terror. The feline eyes fixed with knowing hostility, hisses, claws. Some say poor Louis's insanity was brought on by a parasitic infection contracted from cats. Others, including H.G. Wells himself, say Louis wasn't insane at all, merely a traveler in time pursued by evil. <laughs> 